As we begin our journey over the next 50 years, it is important for us to take stock and remember what we aspire for Singapore. A land of opportunity where citizens can realize their dreams. Dreams take root and have meaning only within the precious network of meaningful relationships and bonds of strong families and good friends, of an inclusive and caring society across all races and all religions. Families come in all forms. For individuals, it can be by fiat of birth, by force of circumstance, by exercise of rational choice, or by a chance chemistry of mutual attraction. On a larger scale, we all know our population is aging. Our family structures are changing. Ours is an economic age of volatility and uncertainty, and social needs, therefore, are becoming more varied, complex, and multifaceted. Our family laws are changing to reflect these new realities. For example, alimonies for divorced men who become incapacitated during marriage and cannot support themselves, or maintenance and care for aged parents. Laws which will have to continue to evolve. Unfortunately, today, we are also more likely to divorce each other than before. We also have more working mothers. We have a more diverse architecture in life choices, even as parenting becomes a constant battle of school stresses and social media temptations and distractions. Against these social facts, what cards do we have to play? We are only as strong as the values we hold dear. And they are that everyone, rich or poor, to have the same shot at success. That we value individual effort and strong families. And last, that we are all in this together. Equal opportunities, strong families, a united country. These are enduring values which my ministry will seek to uphold in our work for this term of government. And in terms of how we intend to carry out our work, I hope to go upstream where we can in order to proactively and positively shape the environment and to prevent problems from developing where possible. We conceive of our work in three ways. Firstly, a strong start. Secondly, a network for the vulnerable. And lastly, a collective effort towards improving social welfare. 